All right, so we're back and ready for another deep dive. And let me tell you, this one is straight out of a movie. We're talking astronauts stuck in space way longer than planned, like a real life space drama unfolding. Yeah, it really throws a wrench in the whole, you know, perfectly planned world of space travel, right? I mean, these astronauts were supposed to be on this quick little 10 day trip on the Boeing Starliner. 10 days, that's it. A quick jaunt to space and back. Exactly, but now they're looking at a whopping nine months on the International Space Station. Nine months Oh. stuck in space. I mean, can you imagine? And the crazy part is they can't even come home until the replacements get up there. That's where this whole Crew 10 mission comes in. And it's definitely not your average crew rotation. It's more like, uh, a carefully orchestrated rescue mission. They've got to get the new crew up to the ISS and bring the Starliner astronauts back all in one go. Yeah, no pressure or anything. Right. It's the first time they've ever done a mission like this, which is why it's getting so much attention. Makes sense. So let's talk about Crew 10. What do we know about this mission? Well, we've got four astronauts all set to launch from Kennedy Space Center in Florida on March 12th. Florida, of course the launch capital of the universe, it seems like. Pretty much, and they'll be spending six months on the ISS, you know, doing all the usual science experiments and spacewalks. Living the space dream, basically. Yep, but here's where it gets even trickier. They'll be launching on a SpaceX Dragon spacecraft, right? Okay, so we've got SpaceX in the mix now, too. This is getting complicated. It is. So they launch in the Dragon, spend about 14 hours traveling to the ISS, and then they have to dock. All while the Starliner astronauts are getting ready to come home in their Starliner capsule, which is already docked. Wow, talk about a cosmic traffic jam. <laughs> so do we have a specific launch time for Crew 10? Launch window opens at 7.48 p.m. Eastern Time on March 12th. And they're aiming to dock with the ISS around 10 a.m. the next day. It's a really tight schedule. That's cutting it pretty close, isn't it? Yeah, it really highlights the level of skill and precision needed for these missions. I mean, you've got two spacecraft, two crews, and a whole space station all moving around up there. One wrong move, and, well, you get the picture. Yikes. But, you know, thinking about those Starliner astronauts being up there for nine months, it makes you wonder, what's that like mentally? Right. Being stuck in space, knowing you're supposed to be home, but you're not. That's got to be tough. Exactly. It raises a lot of questions about the psychological impact of long duration space travel. We know isolation and confinement can be hard on anyone, even astronauts. Well, they are human after all, not just space robots. Right. So it'll be interesting to hear from the Starliner crew once they're back on Earth, you know, see what insights they have about how this unplanned extended stay affected them. Yeah, that's a really good point. I bet they have some stories to tell. I bet they do. So we've got this really unique situation happening up there a rescue mission, a crew rotation, and all the challenges of, you know, just being in space. Yeah, it's like all the best and worst parts of space travel rolled into one. Exactly. And it really makes you think about the human side of all this, you know? The resilience of these astronauts, all the people working behind the scenes to support them, and that constant drive to push further into space no matter what obstacles pop up. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> well, that's our deep dive for today, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. And as we wrap up, I'll leave you with this question to think about. As we keep pushing further into space, how are we going to deal with all those unexpected challenges that inevitably come up? What happens when things don't go exactly as planned? Something to ponder. Definitely something to think about. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. And remember, space is always full of surprises. <laughs>